Oh shit, I just realized I don't think I have, or do I have a connection from this track to that way? I don't think I do. Shit, it only goes into... Oh, wait a minute, what is this here? Oh, of course I... Oh, wait a minute, no. I, uh, what am I talking about? This thing is on a separate track. What else am I hauling from here? We got oil there. And oil here, so they're all going into... Odisha, probably. But what is this track here for then? I was going that way. Yeah, it's into the uranium mines. And this here goes that way, or comes from this way. Well, shit. Looks like I need a connection from these two into that one. Hmm. How to do it though, I guess the uh, way back could be continue straight from here and that's easy, just combine back into that. Then the other way has to go over or under this track on the right. And there we go, problem solved. Let's make a little cosmetic adjustment here, turn that bridge into the uh, S bridge. So now we got a deviation there, which joins this track and this just goes straight down and into that track. Problem solved. Now we can do the waypoint for this guy. Oh, I should have let him load though to help the rating, but then he would have just left and got lost. And he's off to the races. Let's see how it does. Oh, that's gonna be freaking 800 tons of books. Oh, It's kind of funny, this uh, side over here is right side traffic, but then it switches to the other one, which is left side <laughs> traffic. I don't know how that happened. I think it had something to do with uh, this area here. Couldn't fit it the other way or something like that. Mama's going down, damn it. I'm surprised the ones at uh, Arc Angels have gone down. Oops, actually, I should have checked my progress. 44% Surprised these haven't gone down. They're both at like 3,000 uh, Come on, give me that oil wells. Oh, this one is only 700. Uh, must have gone down then at some point. Thought it was at least 1,500 Yes, looking good. He made the right party choices and ended up in Athens. Booyah, first box on it, and it's taking a while to load, there's so much of it. 6.7 million! Funny how it looks, it's more like coal to me, or silicon, not iron, or AK bauxite, whichever named. Oh, this place desperately needs a third platform, but it cannot be done. Don't think this can be moved anymore that way. Or maybe it can. I think one of these roads wasn't uh, destroyable. Let's try it now on this one down there. Ah, yes. Uh, although I should probably build something here to block it from expanding again. Or maybe I'll just turn this road into... Ah, oh, but that one can't be removed. I was going to turn it into one way. Because I don't think they can continue from one-way roads. Hmm. Not like I can block it with anything. Of course I can build a road here. That'll... Uh, let's do it one-way. One-way road here. That'll prevent them from building there. And then I can use that space for myself. Although it might have been this road that needs to be destroyed. I don't know. Actually, no, it's not disconnected to up here. So I could try and build a third platform here, it's so busy.
Holy shit, we got an oil field going up, man. It was about damn time. Also, our gangles went up and, uh, oil wells and, uh, Sophia. Bauxite mine. Oh, actually, that went down. And what else went up? Something, something. What was it? Uh, I guess nothing else. It was these two. That one, I don't think I need to do anything. Same with Mermax. There's plenty of freaking boats queuing for that thing. And I did it. I managed to build that third platform. So now, it's, now this whole curve is one more square this way. But that means I have to do redo all the pl uh, waypoints. They got one right there after the station. Alright, I think I got all the trains coming in here much smoothly. More smoothly now that there's three platforms. So let's see if we need another train here. Most likely yes, because this thing was at 2,970 tons. And we got 423 in there with only 50%. But where is the train? I want to find it and copy paste. There she goes. I wonder if I need a third one. These things are super fast and carry 800 per trip. But why didn't it full load? Because I forgot to add full load. Same goes for you. Oh. Damn it, shutting down Manchester. Was that like the first mine ever? I think so. Damn, I really should have should have remembered to tap that option for industries to not close down. Well, at least Reykjavik is going up. First time in like 20 years or something. But Manchester is no more. That means London is gonna take a big hit on silicon. Mm, but I think it should be supplied by all up here. And possibly Nizhny as well. I'm not entirely sure about that one though. It's such a new one. I think it only has two trains. Can't remember if they go into Stockholm or London. Well, it was fun while it lasted. Goodbye and fair tidings to you, Manchester Mines. There it goes. The month has changed. These guys got nothing, so they're going straight into the bin. Well, I think I'll keep Manchester Mines 3. Let's rename it into Manchester Mines Memorial <laughs> Station or something like that. That way it trains that are lost can turn around there conveniently. Holy shit, that's a lot of planes. What's going on here? Uh, why are they not receiving enough nuke fuel? Then again, this guy is coming to unload. That's not good. Why have I named it unload if they're also loading nuke fuel? I don't know. This place has received a lot of gasoline and uranium, but only produced like half of it into new fuel. That's weird. And now even the passenger plane can't, can't get in. Too many planes. Why hasn't why isn't receiving more gas? This guy should be bringing in some. Yeah. Surely this place has plenty. 1650. At least uh, Arkhangelsk over here should be supplying. A lot, because that one is 3,000 and this one is 1,000 or something, 1,500. Well, this one is only 341, damn it. And that's probably why, because this is going only that way. Uh, I can't remember how many trains I have on this thing. At least three, looks like two down there, one there. The rating is 100%, no need for more. Uranium should also be coming from at least uh, St. Petersburg and Murmansk. Murmansk is down to 527 and Peberg is only 279, damn it. Maybe those are to blame. Mm, maybe I should get rid of some of these. 
Looks like I have six of them, two into Belgrade in, and Frankfurt and Nantes. So I kind of don't want to get rid of any because then I would have to get rid of three to remember to keep the balance of one plane to each destination. But maybe I should do that and then build a train to take it somewhere as well. I can try and squeeze a st station over here. And then use this track up to here, roughly. Uh, maybe I'll leave that for later because I have a long list of things, other things on my to-do list and i only done like one of them, the Paris Loop type thing, <laughs> somewhere else. I like a screen of which, let's see how they're doing. Ooh, looks like Nizhny has grown a little bit. Bigger buildings and stuff, that's a lot of mail. Maybe I should do a mail train. 71 and 40 percent. Oh, that's a lot of mail as well. 68, 37 and uh, finally 38, 27. So it looks like we could use a third train. Um, what's the speed for mail things? Let's find that out. I think there are some options. There's the vanilla one somewhere. Let, that's like 144, that one. Then we have a Royal Mail going the same speed with more more capacity. And then there might be a third one as well. That one. Netherlands, but only 120, but even more capacity. 80 bags. Let's try the British Rail one and then see what matches with its speed. Looks like the Mark 1 BCK and Mark 2 British Rail things are the only options. Oh, wait a minute, where's the uh, vanilla one? Mark 3, there it is, but it's 233, so that's overkill. I guess we'll use these, or actually, these also carry mail, aha. Uh -huh. But only 48 passengers, hmm. 8,900 per month and 10,000 per month. Then again, these I've already used in North Africa, in Al Jazeera, which by the way, I realized at some point that's Algiers, a town in Algeria, or city. <laughs> Never realized it before, but that's probably like the local way to pronounce it or, some, or write it if it were written with Western leaders alphabet. Anyway, let's do that one because I haven't used it yet. And then we need to pick a locomotive, 144. Oh, there's nothing that goes 144, so let's choose this one which is the closest. And it's also British, so now everything is British. The other option would be this one, but that's 160. Which we cannot do because of the Royal Mail Wagon things. So, Virgin it is. And then let's figure out how many can fit on one station. Looks like I can't fit anymore. So let's plop it down and move those upwards. Only two. Damn it, that's quite a low number. At least we got plenty of mail. Um, let's see, are these any shorter? No, it looks like they're the same length. Oh, well, let's launch it as is then. Come on, only 130 something speed, despite having much more power than the multiple units. Where are they, in fact, over here? 1200 versus 2000, and this one has like 15, I think, yeah. Now let's check out the other one, if we can do the same over here, is there a lot of mail? Yes, there is, holy shit. Same over here, probably <laughs> 488, and Munich is 532. So these guys are growing 120, so let's use the uh, Netherlands version of the mail car. Where is it, though? Uh, somewhere around here, there you are. Postwagen. Let's try three of them. Although these stations are shorter. So I could do chest mail. Uh, is there any passenger wagon that goes only 120? I don't think so. 
Yeah, let's do only mail and use this. The lock cargo goes 120. Although I did use that on the uh, silicon trains in Warsaw. So maybe this one. I think it has only 1000 kilowatts. Well, that one is 5.3. Damn. Maybe it would actually be too much because then it would be constantly behind these multiple units which have puny amounts of power. Uh, I think there was a third option. Yeah, that one would be also close to 120 kph. But it's a vanilla thing. So maybe a modded one is better. And it's also Netherlands, so it matches the post wagons pretty well. Too bad I didn't seem to choose any. Netherlands passenger carriage, except for these are kind of close because they're Benelux, which meaning um, Belgium, Netherlands, and Luxembourg. So, like one third Netherlands. <laughs> and they are part of the Netherlands mod set thing. But they go 160, so would that be a little bit overkill? Maybe not. Let's try to fit at least one. Where can I fit this thing over here? Nope, everything is reserved. Damn it, I'm gonna have to wait for one of the trains to stop. There we go. Or move away from the station. Mm, looks like I can fit maybe two of them. They are rather long though, the Benelux things. That one. Oh no, that seems to go overboard. Damn it, maybe I should switch the locomotive into a shorter one. Such as 58. But is it in fact shorter? Let's see. A little bit maybe. Let's see if it fits. It's hard to say. Uh, maybe I'll wait for a train to approach. Here it comes, the little multiple unit. Let's see which... Oh no, it stopped here, so it doesn't fit at all. Damn it. Uh, I think I can extend this one if I put one there. And same with this, but this is the problematic station over here. It's too spread out. Let's try and rectify that by extending it with bus things over here. Da -da 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 -da. Although now I have to stop this guy so that he doesn't plow through once I take that out. Da -da 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 Roofless station. Nope. We need more bus stops. One, two, three. Do, 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 do. Yes, there we go. And now I can take some of the bus stops out. Well, now that we have that extra space, let's switch back into the Netherlands locomotive, uh, the ACTS 6700. Let's see how well it accelerates. Although it has less power than these multiple units, <laughs> only a thousand. Look at that. Slow ass thing. New mines! Holy shit! I didn't know they actually would happen. I didn't know that was possible this late in the game, but we got new mines somewhere in Prague. And Zagreb is going down. And Dublin's going up. At least that is still kicking. It's probably the next to go though. Oh man, that's taking forever for this thing to unload because I didn't extend this station yet. Let's do it before I forget. Gotta put a single on the air spin though. Do, 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 do. Same over here. Can do it on that end and add a signal. I've got to relaunch that guy. Hey, hey look at that, it's right next to Warsaw Mines. Very nice. This station should catch the new one, but uh, that one won't. Yeah, look at that, it's going all the way up to this and that unit. Very nice, very nice. Well, it looks like I could use another train here. Or maybe it's stuck somewhere. How the hell is it that low? What about this one now that it has like two less trains after they crashed? I didn't renew them. It looks pretty good, 87. 
And let's close that and find the maglev going this way. Is it that one? Nope, Sophia. Box it. Why are these? Oh no, there must be a signal facing the wrong way. Yeah, I think it was when I renewed this thing. Or not renewed, but I tried to move it and then rebuilt it back the way it was because it didn't fit. Was that it? Yeah, there you go. That's why it was so low. Surprised it didn't go down. Or maybe it didn't, just didn't notice. But Zagreb is going up. Oh, Zagreb is at also at 21% because of the blockage, but it still managed to get a boost. How the hell? Or was it actually going down? Let's check the news. Zagreb box in my... Oh, yeah, production down. Damn it. No wonder, no wonder there was a problem with the lights. Aha, uh -huh, but St. Petersburg is going up. It's about damn time. You could also build a uh, Netherlands Maglev station for that and then go that way into Palermo. Or yeah, do those trucks I was envisioning of going over here. Into this one that I built myself. Yeah, let's do that now. Well, there we go, short and simple road across to this thing. At first I was gonna actually build it the right way where the um, yellow line would be in the center. Uh, I think because there's left side traffic actually. Oh uh, yeah, yeah, it's actually supposed to be on the outside, I forgot. Left side traffic in UK style, whatever. Anyway, the reason I didn't do it, uh, build it in the center, was if I built the loading thing here, it would attach to this station. Or even if I got around that, it would uh, reach this mine, meaning uh, bauxite would start to accumulate on this station, which I do not want. So now let's launch two hoppers. I think they should be going yeah, that way. Clickety clackety and uh, I guess they could wait for a full load. Actually no 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 not boxide, it's uranium. And again give them a comrade. Copy paste and wait a minute, it didn't pick up anything. Because this is in the wrong place, there you go. Oh shit, I forgot I was gonna add a second train to this, or did I do it? Uh, I think I was about to do it, but then I ended up in Palermo or something and did the three third platform here or something like that. Maybe that is what happened, and now there it is. Oh, actually, I think I did the second train. Let's see if I can find it. Finders, finders, keepers, is it that one? I think so, yeah, but looks like I could use a third one. Although this guy is approaching. But we have 900 tons, so let's do a third. That one and this one. 
One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Seven, eight, but it didn't eat nine for once. Float immediately. This thing must weigh a lot. Let's see how much it weighs. 950 tons. So that means the car, uh, train and things empty are only 150. I thought there would be more. Let's compare it to like this one empty. Yeah, 420. Holy shit. Much heavier. I guess it's some sort of maglev... Uh, Aluminium space metal technology in use. <laughs> These things are only 15 tons and <laughs> the freaking freight engine weighs the same as the cargo things. <laughs> That's crazy. Let's compare to this one. One 180 versus 30 tons. <laughs> Quite the difference. I guess you could justify it uh, with the magnetic levitation. There's so... F uh, Small amounts of friction that the engine can be super lightweight. Then again, there is air resistance. This is not a tube uh, like vacuum maglev, which is also being developed. That thing would have pretty much zero friction. Oh shit, only 52% over here. Maybe I should do a truck from this as well. 44% transported. I am gonna. Add more to those guys as soon as they come along. Can I? Yes, I can get a viewport using this. Uh, but or is it too long for trucks to get over here? Mm, then again, if I do a train, it would be better to have a separate station for that. And the trip is rather short, so maybe even a normal railroad could do it. And the capacity is very tiny compared to the maglevs. Yeah, what the hell, let's do a maglev. A separate little station doesn't have to be a big train. Or it could even be just one train. If I do a full, full length platform for it. Although it's a rather short trip to utilize this track here. So it could just have its own thing. There we go, another quick and dirty simple design. Just a straight beeline over knees knee using this road so it didn't have to destroy any buildings and then turns into this station which I had to add this decoration here to move the uh, nameplate that way so I wouldn't be too spread out. And let's hope that even at 3000 one Lonely maglev will be able to handle it because it's such a short trip. Uh, what am I doing? Opening this thing. Two of those and one, two, three, four, four, six, seven, eight of those. No need for orders, but let's add them anyway. Do, do, do. What is this stuff? Uranium. Ba, ba, da, da. It's taking so long. Actually, it didn't get a full load. Surprising.